Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Ba'ashem, God Gadash, the demands of the apostles, the demands of the elders, the great most on Ruel, and taught us his truth. Must respect to you, brothers out there. As preaching his word in truth and sincerity throughout the folk of the earth. Tabernacle David, hopeful, like and sparkle bird, I want to say shalom. So, uh, just real quick, today's lesson through the spirit was uh, inspired by these. Uh, Pictures that I saw earlier, probably uh, created through AI. If not, you know, hey, it is what it is. It's still nice, nice uh, pictures, nice drawings, pretty much illustrate. Well, pretty much through the spirit, illustrate that uh, through these last days, that uh, if you're a man of the Lord or the elect, that the Lord will deliver you and your children, if you have children or willing. Lord willing, the Lord will take care of you and your household because we're going to need it in these last days. You know, you you know, when you read in, uh, in the scriptures about the great multitude, how people left out of Egypt. And you can only imagine how tired our people were. You know, how to build the tents, how to feed the children. And, and matter of fact, you had our enemies, Esau, Edom. Coming up against the weak, you know, <laughs> you know, you can only imagine, you know, put yourself through those days. And, and a lot of us were there. It's nothing new on the sun. A lot of us were there. All right. Which we understand that uh, regeneration, reincarnation is in the scriptures. But uh, going back to the lesson, you know, once again, if you. Making your calling and election sure you're doing this work, not playing around with the Lord. The Lord's gonna take care of you and your household, Lord willing. So let's go ahead, get a couple of scriptures, and we'll close out. Acts 16 and verse 22. Now, this was uh, if I'm not mistaken, Paul and Silas were they were uh put into jail. And we understand through the scriptures, as you read in uh, Revelation 2 and 10, that this man, Esau, you know, you know, he's so petty, he's so butthurt that he may end up putting the men of the Lord in the jail for this word, for this uh, being a witness unto Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. Salaki. Acts 16 and verse 22. And the multitude rose up together against them, and uh, magistrates uh, rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. You see, that's how bad that this word of Yahweh Shimon Shah cuts our people. As you read in the scriptures in the uh, book of Isaiah 30, if I'm not mistaken, they rather for us to give them sweet, buttery words than to hear the words of Yahweh Shimon Shah. Because the words of Yahweh Bashmi Shah cuts you, which is a good cut because it gets yourself in order. But that's why the two thirds and Esau Edom get along with each other because they love wickedness. And when they laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into the prison. So they beat them up, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Who having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast with the stocks. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto power. And the prisoners heard them. You know, you hey, put yourself in this situation, man. If you do happen to be a brother that is thrown into prison in that day, you know. Hey, they, they was out there singing. And giving praises unto Yahweh Bashmiel Shah. And doesn't the scripture say that the Lord's name is a strong tower? The righteous runneth into it and are safe. So they still kept the faith. No matter what. Slacky, y'all. Allergies acting up. So pretty much they were beaten and thrown into prison for the word of Yahweh Bashmiel Shah. Talking about keeping the faith. Talking about this word cutting our enemies. And they didn't even lay a finger on them. 
And suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prisons were shaken. You see, giving all praises going on to Yahweh Bashim El Shah. The Lord sent an earthquake, man. And immediately all the doors were open. Everyone's bands were loose. And the keepers of the prisons awakened out of his sleep. And seeing the prisoners' doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. You know, he's like, oh, snap. Like, hey, man, it's on me. <laughs> They're going to be thinking I let them loose. <laughs> man, I'm, I might as well. I might as well take my own life because. What they gonna do to me? Hey, they <laughs> they gonna hang me up, man. You know, put your put yourself in his shoes. <laughs> but Paul cried with a loud voice, saying, "Do thyself no harm, for we are all here." And then he cried for a light, and a sprang in, and came in trembling, and fin fell down before Paul and Silas, and brought them out. And said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? So this is most most likely indeed was an Israelite watching over the other Israelites. All right. The jailer. The jailer was an Israelite. And they said, believe on the Lord. Yeah. How was I? Amashiach. And thou shall be saved and thy house all right believe upon Yahweh Bashim Yosha and you're going to be saved and your household is going to be saved and that's pretty much the gist of this lesson and part of believing upon Yahweh Bashim Yosha is not just professing it with your mouth but doing the works in which he called so you get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You grow, and you go out there and preach this word. No questions asked. We go out there in season, out of season, and do our sit downs. Isaiah forty nine and verse twenty five. But thus saith Yahweh, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee, and I will save thy children. The Lord is going to save thy children. He's going to save thy household. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. It's coming. Our enemies are already fighting against each other. And World War Three popping off very, very soon. Hey, that's definitely Satan casting out Satan. And the other nations. Joining in to burn this great whore. And they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine and the flesh shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh Bashim El Shah. I am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. You see, our enemies are going to know who the Lord is for. And we're going to know, especially a faith. It's definitely going to be built up in these last days. The Lord is going to show his signs and wonders. It's going to be beautiful. Cyrus 25 and verse 7, one of my favorites. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children. And he that seeth to see the fall of his enemy. So it's coming, man. In the kingdom, we're truly going to be able to enjoy our children. Be able to let our children run free. We're having to worry about our enemies touching it and grabbing them up. And selling them into slavery and doing all type of wicked things. We won't have to worry about that. And Lord willing, we of the elect. Our household, us in our household, is going to see the fall of our enemies. Shoot, that's the only fireworks that we're going to be celebrating and popping off. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it. That's, that's pretty much the point, man. 
Lord willing, it's edifying. I want to give all praises going on to two. Yahweh, Bashem, El Shah, Bashem, Akadash, and Wa'abababashem.